Welcome to the DIY3DTech.com channel. Welcome to this edition of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to be printing this. And you may be asking yourself, what is this? Well, if you might remember back a couple episodes, I was working on uh, bed leveling with uh, uh, basically a, a dial indicator. So what we did is... Uh, as I mentioned, we had printed out a couple different versions, and I think I got one of them right here. So you might remember we did this particular version, which clips on, and then I was mentioning that there was another one that clips onto the motor, and the dial indicator goes in here. So I decided to give this one a try with some TPU, since I already had TPU in the printer for the last project, and printed this up. So uh, tell you what we can do. Let's go do a time lapse. You can watch this being printed, because it's actually pretty cool. And then after the time lapse, we'll come back and uh, we'll see how it all goes together. So, time lapse. Time lapse video. Welcome back. So we pulled this off the bed and we put the uh, gauge in it. Now we had to do a little bit of uh, changing, but before we get there, so I've, I've cleaned it up, pulled off the supports. I did have to print it with a bit of supports and I did hit it with the heat gun to get the, some of the webbing off of it. One of the things you do have to do is remove the back and uh, here's what it actually looks like inside and just for grins and giggles. So this is what's inside uh, the um, digital version, and then I actually have, um, so this is the digital version, there's what's in the back of it, so this is the analog version, and here's what it looks like in the back if you ever interested, so they have the same type of containment mechanisms, however you can see that this has some, some pretty significant step gearing, where this has what looks like a resistor or something in the back, on the PC board and the spring that tensions it, you can kind of see it pull versus this one. So anyways, um, again, this one has a tensioning spring too, but it doesn't have that little pulley doodad. Um, anyways, what this does is then, after you remove the back, it now sits inside of here, 
Um, the fit isn't too bad. The top is good. Um, this bottom piece needs to be cleaned out a little bit more because you can kind of see how it doesn't quite sit in there evenly. Uh, so that needs to be cleaned out a little bit more. And then what happens is this goes onto the stepper motor. Now what I had to do is cut a piece off of here because this was hitting the bracket of the stepper motor. And I think, I think I'm going to actually probably maybe remix this because I kind of like this a, a lot actually. This is kind of cool. So it slips on the motor. And if I get it running here, stick my finger in the fan. Um, and then it slides on there. So it, it butts right up to the, uh, this backside butts right up to the edge of the motor. And then basically if we zero this out, um, I'm getting like 0 0.0 five or six but as I pull the bed forward you you can tell how much the the beds off and I'm not sure if this is coming out the bed's actually fairly close because here I'm well not really I'm 0 0.33 0 0.33 0 0.29 again if I even rest my fingers on the bed it'll come back and then if I pull it to the end I'm at point 10, so I'm a little bit off, so I can use it to adjust it. However, what I can also do is slide this over and measure different points on the bed. It is a little bit hard to see. Um, this might help. I try to use a bit of a flashlight to light that up. If it had backlighting, it would be uh, better. However, it fits on there pretty snug. Now, I printed this in TPU. And so it's, it's, it's rubbery, so it actually grips this pretty good, I think, as opposed to um, ABS or PLA. And I may actually print one in, in ABS or PLA when I remix it just to see what it's like. Um, however, I actually like this a lot because I can, I can move it this way. I can move the bed. And I can really get a, a good level on this. Um, using this methodology. The only thing I don't like is, again, this bottom piece is not sticking as far in there as I would like it to. Uh, not much at all. I think um, I can bring it into Tinkercad and fix it up. And then when you want to print, it just pops right off. Now I like the fact, because of the TPU, it's a bit rubbery. Um, so it actually grips it when I put it on here. Um, and, and actually holds it fairly snug. And, and again, for horseshoes, hand grenades, and drive-in movies, I think this is uh, actually good enough. Um, I mean, there's, I think there is probably a tiny amount of flex, but uh, again, for bed leveling or this type of work, this actually works very well. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. So, um, this also works nice. I pull it off here, too, because, again, because the TPU is rubbery, it really holds onto the gauge well versus just kind of uh, sitting in there. And again, if this this bit a little bit more, I might try um, actually heating up a screwdriver or something and in, in, in with the heat gun and uh, open this up a little bit more to see if that sits in there a little bit better uh, rather than. Because I think if I pull it up here, you can kind of see how it is um, where it sits back here nicely, but it doesn't so much here. And I think it's Part of the function may be the size of uh, that if I pull it out, but then it kind of wants to wobble a little bit, so I, can't, I think it's one half dozen to the other. I, I'd like it to sit a little bit further back so the gauge is held a little bit more solid, but I, I really like this. I'm, I'm really surprised. And like I say, I had to cut this back uh, because it wasn't going on the motor, it was hitting. So I, I think this might have been designed for the 1.0 version or something. Um, and this is the 2.0 version. However, since I cut that piece off, it just slides on there as nice as can be. And again, you can drive this around and then watch the gauge. I may actually, now this, now one of the things to kind of keep in mind, and let's talk about this for a second too, is uh, if I take my, my analog gauge, my analog gauge is smaller, and it also has this other adjustment hole, so I think I might actually do a remix of this for the analog gauge also. 
uh, and then knock this hole out uh, that does the that you hold the gauge with. So hopefully, I'm, whoop, get my fat hands in the picture. That's always the hard part when you're shooting it. You're really watching what you're doing in that. But my my point is to see this piece right here. This knob, I have to have a knockout for that. And the gauge is a little bit smaller than the digital. But uh, I think I'm going to do a remix uh, for the analog gauge because I think putting the analog gauge on there will be a lot easier to see. Uh, I'm sticking my finger in the fan. So it just... Whoop! Drop the gauge. Um, but I don't think it would be that hard to do... You can see the... Uh, hopefully you can see the gauge move. I actually like that. I think that's what I'm going to do is um, remix it for the dial indicator. Uh, versus the digital one, if I quick drop in it. Um, anyways, uh, I think that'll actually work good because what I, what I like doing, what I found uh, actually works pretty good is I do, on one point, I'll do paper alignment. Get the paper, the head. So, for example, this is pretty good right there. And then what I'll do is I'll level off that point since, I, since this is not changing my origin when I put this on there this back in and if I were to run this around the bed it's not like the other one where I was clipping it on and moving it so I get a better resolution on this and I think uh, that'll actually work pretty good so again yeah, like this a lot I'll put the link uh, to Thingiverse down below um, so if you want to print one of these but remember uh, if you print it in something else too you probably have to you know shave that that corner off I am going to do a remix, and it'll probably take me a few days to do the remix uh, to get some time. Uh, but I am going to do one, and once I do, I'll do a video on it, and I'll also put that up on Thingiverse, and you can download it too. So, uh, anyways, hey, if this helped you, give you a thumb, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give it a thumbs up anyway. Why not? Uh, all you do is got to click it, and uh, that's it. Anyways, cheers. See you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel.